everybody this is the three readings and hi scorpio how are you guys doing let's see what messages are going to show up for you scorpio in case this reading resonates with you there will be a link in the description box to the extended okay let's have a look at the messages for scorpio okay Scorpio, please show me energy for Scorpio. You're walking away from something, okay? So what you could literally be moving or planning to travel. It's like this there's this energy of packing your bags and leaving, okay? So I do feel like here uh you're moving on towards something, is what I see. Mm. Some of you may be changing your job or your career, you know, and moving to a better place. There's this energy of elevation here. So one more thing I'm, I'm getting with this reading is that Scorpio, there is definitely something here that made you feel like you were underappreciated in a particular place uh, or there was somebody doing it to you. Some of you felt like there was an equal give and take in a particular situation. Um, I do think here with the Three of Pentacles, there's somebody showing up, you know, to communicate, to work things out. This could also very well be uh, work related okay but I'm, I'm getting here that this is about moving forward towards something okay with the six of wands and the three of pentacles i also see material gains for you success for you okay uh public recognition or some of you maybe work online it could be that okay but hmm it's like, you know, it's one of those energies when we, yeah, when we leave a place where, where we feel like we don't belong here anymore, we're moving on and we find our happiness with the nine of cups. Now, the thing here is that Pisces got the nine of cups in their challenge too. So some of you are having a hard time being happy or feeling free when it comes to something. You may be feeling like you're too occupied with stuff in your life um, and you want break, okay? But I do see here with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups, you're emotionally freeing yourself from something. Um, Scorpio. Nine of Cups also signifies a wish fulfillment, by the way. Let's see. Ooh, we have the Ace of Cups. So I love it. I love it. It's almost like there is a wave here, Scorpio. There is an ending. There is a new beginning. It's like you're learning to, like, I don't know, detach from something. With the Six of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Pentacles, it's like leaving a situation where you feel underappreciated. Okay leaving a situation you know in which you feel like oh i deserve better than this Justice reverse, strength reverse, star reverse. Aquarius, Leo, Libra energy. Scorpio, your challenge here is that something is too overburdening and exhausting for you. Okay. And the thing here is that 
you feel like you were mistreated in a particular situation or you just feel like sometimes life is is just not fair okay but the justice reverse is like somebody looking at the dark side of things more than you know the positive side something here is it's like it's it's in your mind or what it's like it makes you feel like you have given enough time energy into something and you just don't have that anymore to give especially towards a particular situation with a person with the six of cups you're lacking hope in this and a part of your advice here is to give up on something here i need to clarify because here with the nine of cups and the ace of cups you have a new beginning and things here are looking fine as soon as i picked up cards for your challenge and advice let's see too many cards seven of wands um I feel like Scorpio, something feels like an unfinished business here with the world reverse and the seven of wands, okay? Something feels like it's not done and it's like you have tried so hard to try to figure out the situation now that you're even tired of trying to figure it out, okay? There is a particular situation with a person or just something in general it's lingering energetically and it makes you feel very very drained it makes you feel like you don't have the answers okay four of wands and the high priestess so your intuition is telling you otherwise okay Scorpio, it's time to stand your ground against something, especially if you feel like you're not being treated nicely or if you feel like there's something lingering in your, in your life energetically and something needs to change. You know, this is also a time for you to stand up for yourself. High Priestess to the Four of Wands, finding balance, stability, harmony, listening to your intuition. I feel like you have the higher knowledge or you have the understanding to move forward from something but at times you're not because like i said the energy is lingering here but the problem here is that i don't know there's just something here scorpio you need to stand your ground against first of all and secondly it's just too much energetically what is the advice for scorpio Maybe it's connected to a past situation and it's looking like it's karmic because of the justice and the reverse. Ten of Swords, look at, look at your advice. Look at your advice. It's time to let it go. It's time to just move on. Okay, Ten of Swords, endings, new beginnings. I feel like it is going to hurt, but it's going to hurt once. You have to accept that this is done with. But the Ten of Swords, it's like there's also a lot of mental burden and exhaustion. But there's a sense of wisdom here, you know. I see that you're very, very wise. But when it came to this particular person or something in particular in your life, all that wisdom kind of you put it aside. And now you feel like this is lingering energetically. What's the star reverse? Karma. Mm -mm. Judgment. Four of reverse. Honey, this situation is going to keep draining you, making you feel like you're going in circles. You have to approach the situation from a place of awareness and step back. The star in the reverse at times can also talk about false hope. Show me the nine of cups and the ace of cups for these blessings coming in for Scorpio. See, the strength card. So whatever courage, strength, energy, you know, you feel like you lost, you're going to regain it. Some of you are going to be traveling this summer. 
I really feel like you're gonna be you're gonna be feeling good about yourself. You once you take your power back, or once you just view the situation with the karma and the star reverse as what it is, not what you hope for it to be. Things are gonna change, and the high priestess here also talks about higher knowledge, trusting your intuition. So here in your outcome, strength reverse is in your challenge and your outcome strength is upright, which is also telling me that you're going to overcome your challenge pretty well in the near future, okay? But the whole issue here seemed to be with this uh, connection or whatever it is that seems lingering energetically it's karmic it's painful it's karmic and this is you yourself your strength your you know your soul who is coming towards Scorpio hmm eight of pentacles the world and the nine of swords they have regrets for ending things with you, Scorpios, right off the bat, the world, and the Nine of Swords is here. Look at that. They're like, oh my goodness, why did I... Okay, this is somebody who thought that the grass was greener on the other side, is what I'm getting. But it kind of backfired. And didn't back... You know, it backfired quite badly on them. Ten of Swords, Page of Wands... And Page of Wands is at the bottom of this deck too. So it does look like this person's going to initiate communication, try to talk to you, open up to you. But with the Ten of Swords, it's like this person knows that it's a little too late to do that. Page of Wands coming twice. There is going to be communication here. I feel like this is somebody who in the past, they may have prioritized their work and other things over you. Okay, because you did feel like you were not a priority for this person. Scorpio, you're working on freeing yourself from the situation. You're moving forward, planning things ahead with that Eight of Wands energy, possibly even traveling, um, you know, working on your goals, your money, your dreams feeling inspired to create okay you're not going going to stop for nobody anymore the only hindrance here or like you know what was showing up in your challenge has had something to do with your emotions your feelings and your sense of uh connectivity to something okay other than that i really feel like you're freeing yourself from something and it's just it's working out for you honestly with the eight of wands and the fool card you're you're making space for the right thing in your life. Okay. And you do feel like if this person wants to communicate, they can show up. Why would you? Empress and the Eight of Swords. Working on yourself. Uh, some of you could be focused on your kids if you have kids. Okay, let's see. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Somebody's your soulmate. That's why it's hard, the connection. Oh, there's somebody who came in your life to teach you a lesson, Scorpio. It could be soulmate karmic situation is what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. The signs are cautioning you. That is what this challenge and advice was. High priestess you know judgment it's like you're being shown what to do but why are you not doing it why because you feel like you're emotionally attached to something this is a time for you to open your eyes to something what are those red flags show me what are those red flags please for scorpio 
if there is somebody coming in your life and they're very guarded they're hiding things from you they're like i don't know they're moving at five mile per hour you know it, it's it's a red flag there's there there could be somebody around you who's hiding things from you purposely I feel like the biggest red flag here has something to do with priorities. If somebody's not able to prioritize you or at least communicate clearly about it, why are they there, you know? Because you put everything aside for somebody. And I saw that. What is the guided message for Scorpio? What is the guided message for Scorpio? We have the royal you. Nice. Again, this is telling you to take your part back, Scorpio. This is telling you to take your part back. Number 16. Responsibility, self-confidence, self-rule, ownership of your feelings and actions, a quiet sense of empowerment, being self-aware, not allowing outside influences out of alignment with your truth. Do you know what it means to express personal sovereignty in your life it's about how ho how you hold to your inner sense of worth and integrity you are the ruler of your mind and you're being invited now to consider what discipline you need to apply to your thoughts are they consistent with the values and beauty you intend for your life it is important how you keep your focus on what is right and good for you as well as others there are challenges in your life at this time no matter how large or small they must be met with a measured response. If life sends you a challenge, can you speak up and set your boundaries with grace and surety? Calm, intelligent leadership is called for now. Now is the time to lead from heart, from your authenticity and integrity. Hold your head high and know your word. That is the mark of a true sovereign. Nice. In fact, beautiful. So this is reminding you of who you are and how much of your power you gave away to somebody. This is reacting and showing up from an authentic place. Not actually reacting, but responding from an authentic place. Sometimes we give reactions to things or we show up in situations. Autopilot, you know, we are on autopilot. So this is about being aware of something. Also just being aware of what you want, why you want, because I feel like for the longest while, you may have felt like your life was going in many different directions and you were like it's like you were wandering aimlessly even though it wasn't but it seemed like it mentally because somewhere somehow you were agreeing to people or people were making it seem like you had to agree to them this is telling you to stand for yourself in your truth because I am also getting here somewhere down the line, Scorpio, you've lost a sense of yourself and a sense of connectivity. Okay. So this is reminding you to take your part back. All right. That's it, Scorpio. That's all that I got for you today. Leave a like on this reading and subscribe to my channel. You can have a look at the extended link in the description box below to find out your person's feelings, thoughts of you, their future actions, uh, what blessings and challenges are coming your way. So do check it out. It will be linked below. Take care and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.